channel is called Bright Mind. It's like they're not even trying to hide the fact that they're copying from Bright Side. Maybe they're satire. I don't know. This is Megalodon vs. Spinosaurus, by the way. And if you haven't watched my Mega Dinosaurs review on it, um, just know that this uh, this fight is absolutely ridiculous and completely unfair. Dinosaurs were built for the kill. At least the carnivorous types were. And herbivorous ones can be super deadly as well if they are threatened and they have to s defend themselves. Heavily armored with razor sharp teeth. Are you trying to say armed or armored? Because I can't think of any predator, any of these carnivorous dinosaurs that were armored, only herbivorous ones. Claws and spike tails. There is no doubt some of these creatures were definitely apex predators. Speculation on which dinosaurs preyed on which has always been of interest to scientists and dino- What is this scene? Is this supposed to be an uh, a Spinosaurus slapping Carcharodontosaurus to death in a different perspective in a different scene? Stuff isn't even moving here. Hands alike. One wonders, could a Spinosaurus kill a Megalodon? No, and it never can because the Megalodon is too big and has too powerful of a bite force. And then it, and the Megalodon could also just easily clamp its jaws on the Spinosaurus. Spinosaurus. The Spinosaurus were along the largest species of dinosaurs to roam the Earth. Its size was comparable and larger than that of the Tyrannosaurus. That is a common misconception. Spinosaurus was longer than the T-Rex, but it is smaller. They had large vertical neural spines that grew along their back vertebra, for which they were named. These spines were slightly longer from the front towards the back. The function is disputed, with some scientists theorizing that it was more hump-like than sail-like. This would indicate another purpose like aquatic locomotion rather than thermoregulation. It is still unclear. That is for sure. Spinosaurus physiology. The Spinosaurus is estimated to be 41 to 59 feet in length. It could weigh approximately 14 to 46,000 pounds. The 46,000 pound one is just completely ridiculous. The bite force is estimated to be around 19,613 newtons. That's oddly specific, but okay. It had large forelimbs with three fingered hand like appendages and a long narrow tail with tall spines and hemal arches. I'm sorry, but there is literally nothing that the Spinosaurus has to help it against the Megalodon. Its hind legs were short in proportion to its body. Spinosaurus diet. The hunting strategy of the Spinosaurus was that of ambush in shallow waters. Their body type indicates that although it hunted in bodies of water, it mainly preyed on shore animals and fish in shallow waters. Okay, so you're correct, but like, does it even help it against the Megalodon? It used its tail, mouth, and claws in combination for hunting. However, the Spinosaurus was an opportunistic predator. This meant that it fed on any animals that might have come within reach. When it is hungry, at least. Megalodon. Megalodons lived around 23 to 3.6 million years ago and were the apex predator of the oceans. These extinct species of shark belong- At least you said that the Megalodon were extinct. Had you said that the Megalodon is still lurking around to this day, well- To their own family of sharks called Otodus, which diverged from the great white shark species. They were similar in appearance to great white sharks, but wider jaws. Their fins were more robust, and of course the body was vastly larger and thicker in diameter. These are all correct. I'm pretty surprised, to be honest, considering that the channel's name just gave me 
terrible vibes. Megalodon Physiology The males were smaller than females, measuring only up to 47 feet in length and weighing 33.9 metric tons. Still big enough to win against the Spinosaurus 100% of the time. Their teeth could reach up to 18 centimeters or 7 inches. Their bite force is estimated to be around 180,000 newtons. Their diet ranged from whales, giant squids, dolphins, and sharks. This video is just becoming another Mega Dinosaurs video at this point. The Megalodon's hunting strategy changed depending on the size of its prey. Based on current information we have, it is inconceivable that a Spinosaurus would be able to kill a Megalodon under normal circumstances. Under basically any circumstance, especially when it comes to water. Maybe on land, Spinosaurus could have a chance. Physical engagement requirements between the two species rely heavily upon the fact that the Spinosaurus would be submerged in relatively deep water. This ensures that the favor for victory lies almost with the Megalodon. Here we will detail three possible scenarios. The first scenario would place a Spinosaurus in its normal environment, where it would hunt on the shore or within the water itself. Land, the Megalodon will lose, but even in shallow waters, the Megalodon will win. Semi or fully submerged in coastal waters close to shore. The Megalodon did not hunt in water that could not envelop them fully. A fully submerged Spinosaurus would be a prime target because the Spinosaurus would be defenseless from behind and underneath from attacks. There is no chance that Spinosaurus would win anyway, even if it, if it, see, it saw the Megalodon coming. A Megalodon would not hunt a semi-submerged Spinosaurus, as it would not be able to attack it at that depth. The only scenario where a Spinosaurus would have a chance is if the Megalodon had washed up on shore. If the Spinosaurus could avoid the thrashing jaws and tail of the Megalodon, it would be able to either kill it or outweight it and feed on it while it was suffocating. Outweigh the Megalodon. That is a very, very dumb claim. The third scenario entails that the Spinosaurus would be hunting offshore, fully submerged underwater. In this scenario, the Megalodon would remove the tail, claws, and feet from the Spinosaurus. Dang, the Megalodon doesn't have to be that cruel. Before devouring it. Due to the difference in bite force and speed in the water, the Spinosaurus would be unable to do any real damage or defend itself. Well... I thought this video would be incredibly horrible, but after watching the battle itself, I feel this battle, this wasn't as bad as I thought, even though the username caught me off guard a bit. Conclusion. Although huge, the Spinosaurus's power and speed in water cannot be compared to that of the Megalodon. If the two dinosaurs met on land... The I was gonna say that this video was not horrible, but then this guy just called Megalodon a dinosaur. The Spinosaurus would obviously have the advantage. However, as both hunted in the water, the most likely outcome would have been that the Megalodon would have killed the Spinosaurus. If these monsters lived in the same period, they are animals, not monsters. How many times do I have to say it? Of time. Now, who do you think would win? Share with us in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe for more. This is the end of the video. Obviously, not great at all. Is there really anything else to say? Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. See you all next time.